Adela Quested is sailing from England to British Raj India with Mrs. Moore. The mother of Quested's intended bridegroom. Ronnie Heaslip. Mrs. Moore's son from her first marriage. Heaslip is the city magistrate in Chandrapur. The anglicized spelling of Chandrapur. Adela intends to see if she can make a go of it. The ladies are disappointed to find that the British community is very much separated from the Indian population and culture with a growing Indian independence movement in the 1920s. They are encouraged when the local school superintendent Richard Fielding introduces them to the eccentric elderly Hindu Brahmin scholar Professor Narayan Godbol. Mrs. Moore meets by chance another Indian local. Dr. Aziz Ahmed, a widower who is surprised by her kindness and lack of prejudice. Aziz offers to host an excursion to the local Marabar Caves. The initial exploration of the caves shows that the size of the party should be limited when Mrs. Moore suffers from claustrophobia and the noise from the large entourage echoes exponentially. Inside the caves. Mrs. Moore encourages Adela and Aziz to continue their exploration of the caves alone with just one guide. They reach the caves at a higher elevation some distance from the group and before entering, Aziz steps away to smoke a cigarette. He returns to find Adela has disappeared. Shortly afterwards, he sees her running headlong down the hill. Disheveled. She is picked up by the doctor's wife, Mrs. Callender, and taken to the Callender's home. Adela is bleeding and delirious. Dr. Callender medicates Adela with a hypodermic syringe. Upon his return to Chandrapur, Dr. Aziz is accused of attempting to rape Adela inside the caves, is jailed awaiting trial, and the incident becomes a cause celebre. Mrs. Moore firmly believes Aziz did not commit any offence and departs India for England, seemingly enjoying her passage at sea. Mrs. Moore suddenly suffers an apparent heart attack and dies. In court, Adela is questioned by the prosecutor, who is stunned when Adela replies that Dr. Aziz never entered the cave, where the supposed attempt took place. It becomes clear to Adela that her earlier signed accusation of attempted rape was false. So she recants. Aziz is freed and celebrated for his innocence. Adela is abandoned to her own devices by the British. Except for Mr. Fielding, who assists her to safety at the college. She plans to return to England at the earliest moment. Aziz rids himself of his Western associations and vows to find a new job in another Indian state. He opens a clinic in the lake area near Srinagar, Kashmir. Meanwhile, through Adela, Fielding has married Stella Moore, Mrs. Moore's daughter from her second marriage. Aziz eventually reconciles with Fielding. And Aziz writes to Adela asking her to forgive him for taking so long to come to appreciate the courage she exercised when she withdrew her accusation in court.